It's all ball TV. You already know the motto. They scared, but I'm not. Boston has the same issue. Minnesota has the same issue. I don't care what I don't care about that Ant-Man block. When it comes to crunch time, who's gonna take that last shot for the Knicks? Because we know what it is. Like it's not out of effort, it's not out of skill. Brunton has the skill to do whatever the hell he wants, get the hell get to wherever we uh, wherever he wants. But we don't have another guy like that. We don't have we don't have another guy to make it easier for Brunson. And another thing, what the hell happened to, and this is funny, because when Evan Fournier was here, right, he, you know, how I, I think I got it from Little Wayne, necessity is the father of learning. So it's like necessity is the father of creativity. That Julius Randle dribble handoff, set the pick to have Evan Fournier open. That was like a, I seen it two or three times a game when Fournier would play in there with Randall in there. How come Randall doesn't do that with a DiVincenzo, with a Bogdanovich if he comes back? Like where, with, with, even with Brunson, where did that go? Because even that is setting up something where it's like, is it the only reason why you did it? Because it's Fournier and we know he doesn't have a handle and stuff like that. Why not do it with the guys that do have a handle and make the whole, at least that, like something like that, even more dangerous. Maybe I'm bugging. And maybe it is the absence of Julius Randle who's missing also. You know, is that the thing? Or do or do you think we're completely confident in crunch time? Uh, to speak on that specific action, Ju you were seeing Julius do that a lot when we didn't have a point guard, when Brunson wasn't even a Nick. You saw that because Julius was initiating a lot of the offense back when we had Alec Burks as our starting point guard or even Derrick Rose as our starting point, right? Like, we didn't have a guy that naturally initiated offense, but we had a guy that was a pretty, especially at that time, was a pretty decent passer in Julius Randle. So Tibbs puts the ball in his hand, and now we're initiating offense, and now you see Julius Randle getting in dribble handoff positions and, you know, initiating offense with action with uh with uh Evan Fournier as you said. So I will say that that you don't see that much anymore because you know one just Julius doesn't have to do it. You know Brunson the ball is in Brunson's hands now and you're not going to have I'm glad he doesn't have to do that anymore to be honest with you because you know that puts so much pressure on him you know to take care of the basketball. I love the fact that Brunson has the ball in his hand. Don't he? Does, he's not a turnover machine. He's not a guy that is going to force too much. We saw a lot of times that year where we were a fourth seed going into the playoffs um, with Julius as our best player. With he had to force a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff at that time. And just having Brunson in the fold right now, he doesn't have to force much of anything anymore. So. When it does come to crunch time, though, do I trust Jalen Brunson? Yeah. I also trust Julius Randle to hit an open shot. I also trust OG Ananobi to hit an open shot. I also trust DiVincenzo to hit open shots. So I think our team is a little different than a Boston, um, even though they have multiple options as well. Even Minnesota, although they have multiple options as well. I think the Knicks, if you, if you took a snapshot of all the options that we have, you got to defend everybody. In a situation where we're down two, and it's 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 twenty seconds left on the clock, and we need we need a big shot. Yes, we know that we would like Brunson to take that shot, but you bet not leave Dante Divincenzo. You bet not leave Julius Randle. You better not leave OG in that left corner free. Right? You better not leave him. You better not leave Josh Hart free on the back door because he's going he's going to make a great cut off the ball right so i think what makes us so good and puts us in a position to compete with Milwaukee and Boston is that we got a guy that's going to hit big shots in Brunson but we got a couple other guys that are not afraid of taking big shots either i don't know if uh i don't know if uh you know, aside from Giannis and Damian Lillard, who else over there is comfortable taking a big shot? Like, confidence-wise, none of our guys lack confidence. DiVincenzo is, you could you could lock DiVincenzo in for 10 threes a night at this point. You know that? Because he ain't got, he's not scared to put, put the rock up. 
He's not scared. Whether you like him or not, that kid plays with a lot of confidence. So does Josh Hart. So does Isaiah Hartenstein. Achua. Deuce McBride. Like, you, all of these guys, you, I don't think the stage is going to be too bright come late April, bro. All of these guys seem like they 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 love, you know, playing in these pressure, pressurized moments.